There is no pain greater than this, nor the cut of a jagged edged dagger, nor the fire of a dragon's breath. Nothing burns in your heart like the emptiness of losing something, someone, before you have truly learned its value. Robert Salvatore. My lesson is that you really need to value the people you have while you have them. And my story begins the moment I remember my grandma, who is my mom's mom. I didn't get to be with her a lot because her and my grandpa lived in Arizona. But before I'm, well, we, I lived in Cedar Rapids, and then we moved to Idaho. And that's where I kind of first remember her from, but not very well. We lived on a big, like, acreage next to a giant horse ranch. And the only thing I really remember is, like, my great-grandma. You just go there and eat peas with her all the time. Anyways, we used to get calls all the time saying that my grandma was in the hospital and that she wasn't going to make it and this and that. Well, a lot of people, which would, sorry, which was scary because, you know, I didn't really get to spend a long time with her and it hurt to see my mom hurt a lot. And a lot of people tell me that I'm just like my grandma because she was not afraid to speak her mind. And so I guess that's why it hurts so much when people say stuff about me because it's like you're saying stuff about my grandma and a lot of people talk a lot of crap about my grandma. Which she doesn't mean to tear her bull neither do I. It's just, it's just how I am. But we finally got the call that my grandma was in the hospital and that she wasn't going to make it, so my mom flew down to Arizona and my, my dad was at work, so my Aunt Chrissy watched us and one night we got a phone call saying that it was time to say goodbye. And the phone went to Nick first and it went to me and all she could say after she talked to Nick is, Nick, where's Nick? I want to talk to I was just, I don't know, that kind of hurt a little bit, but she was really out of it. She was on a bunch of pain medicine, and I hope it was really bad. Well, it hurt a lot to lose her, but we kind of think that she's, like, in my room. Because we used to have a rabbit named Millie, and if we'd forget to feed her, the door was magically, the hook came out, and the rabbit was magically fed. So I thought that was kind of funny, and her favorite thing was horses. And me and my sister would sit in our room, coloring books, and like six pages, the, full, the coloring book was like folded underneath, you know, like the back page. And it, somehow that had got pulled out and flipped over to a horse picture. I don't know. A lot of people don't believe in ghosts, but sometimes I do. Um, but she was cremated, and... My grandpa has part of her in an angel in a light-up case, and then we have her in a box. <laughs> our house on a plant shelf. And then her dog, Sheba, passed away a couple years ago. And she's in a box right next to her. <laughs> but what you guys can learn from this is even if you guys don't have a lot of, t a lot of time with family or friends, like the Queen has said. <laughs> and Kristen, with her sister. So you guys really need to value the people you have while you have them. So as Robert Salvatore said, there is no pain greater than this. Nor the cut of a dragon edge dagger, nor the fire of a dragon's breath. Nothing burdens in your heart like the emptiness of losing someone or something before you have truly learned its value.